This segment sponsored by Foster Financial. Last month, we introduced Money Mondays, which is exclusively giving financial advice to females from Foster Financial. And today, we're going to keep the party going. Hi, Caleb. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. Thanks very much. Yes. Okay. So when we kicked it off, we started talking about life insurance, which is such an important topic. So today, we're going to talk about a little bit something different, but still has to do with insurance. So yeah. share with me what we're going to discuss today. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Last time, we talked a little bit about term insurance, which is really important in somebody's working years and even into the, the beginning of their retirement. Yes. And I wanted to talk a little bit today about an insurance policy that people often use at the end of their retirement, Okay. Um, which is called long-term care insurance. And mm. so a lot of people kind of think of this as nursing home insurance, mm -hmm. which is what people kind of refer to it as. Right. Um, and so it can be really important for people's plans. And so I thought it'd be helpful to chat about it. Yes. Okay. So long-term care mm. insurance. So tell me, what is that? Yeah. So this is insurance that basically kicks in if somebody were ever to go into a nursing facility. Okay. Of course, that's very, very expensive when somebody mm -hmm. goes into a nursing facility. I mean, even in our area, it can cost between you know five to ten thousand dollars a month, mm -hmm. depending on wow. the, the type of care that somebody needs. Yeah. And so, if somebody doesn't have insurance, this can eat away at their investment savings. And mm -hmm. so, this is something that we like to plan for for people. Um, and it, it really does impact women specifically mm -hmm. a little bit more than men sometimes. Mm -hmm. And part of that reason is because women typically outlive their husbands okay. just, just by data. And so because of that, by the time they might need you know, assistance with their typical daily living activities, they might not have a spouse to help them out with that. Mm -hmm. and so a lot of times they need to go into a nursing facility. Mm -hmm. And then the other piece of that is, is that typically men um, don't live as long in nursing facilities as women. Mm, um, it's just a weird phenomenon yeah. that, that we kind of see. I think you know, men, when we get old, we're like in our routine, <laughs> you know, and then we, we get thrown into a new environment, yeah. not looking to make friends. Typically you know, mm. men last a little bit, you know, less amount of time in there. And it sounds like women are just survivors in then, all environments. That's exactly <laughs> right. They are. They get in there. They get their new routine. Yeah. Meet their new friends, and they love it. And yeah. then they stay typically longer. But of course, that that can add up uh, to a lot of expenses. Right. And so planning for that can be really helpful for people. Okay. And does this type of insurance apply to nursing homes only or mm. any type of long care um, uh, services that you may have? So maybe in-house um, yeah. nurses or hospice or all the variations, does it apply to that? Yeah, that's a great okay. question. And, and yeah, we, we typically write policies that give people a lot of flexibility mm -hmm. with how they can use it. And we work with a whole host of insurance companies. We yes. just go with whoever's going to give you the most amount of coverage. Okay. And so typically it can be used for in-home care, it can be used for, you know, a, a memory care, it can be used for a whole host of different things. Mm -hmm. Typically how it works is there's just a medical trigger that happens mm -hmm. where this policy all of a sudden kicks in. Mm -hmm. And usually that trigger is an inability to perform two of the six daily living activities. Okay. And so, you know, these are things like using the restroom, eating, dressing, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And so if a doctor basically says, hey, my patient is having difficulty doing two of these things, mm -hmm. then all of a sudden we call the insurance company and say, hey, it's time to start paying you know, our client the $4,000 a month benefit that we talked about, and they can right. use that for their care. And so we plan kind of a timeline for people and say, hey, this is when you're going to need this type of policy. Maybe for a few years you don't need anything. Mm -hmm. And then this is where we're going to want to introduce long-term care. Right. And that's really where the, the holistic financial planning that we do comes mm -hmm. into play. Because we, you know, your, your investments are just one piece of your overall financial right. picture. There's you know, taxes, there's insurance, there's the legal side. Mm -hmm. And so we want to make sure all of those work together. And it's important to plan this out in advance, right? Really to know what you're getting into, but also to start making those payments. Yeah. Because the sooner you start making them, the payments are probably less expensive. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, okay. exactly. And there, there's some insurance carriers too that have like an age limit to mm. when you can actually apply for this yeah. insurance. And so if people wait until they're you know, in their late 70s, it can be really difficult to get yeah. coverage. And so we start that conversation a lot earlier to make mm -hmm. it more affordable. Okay. Good stuff. Good <laughs> stuff to know. Thank you so much, Kayla. Yeah, we thank appreciate you. it. <laughs> And if you would like more information about Foster Financial and all the services that they provide, we'll be sure to have their phone number listed below to give them a call. And we'll be right back. This segment sponsored by Foster Financial.